Okay, hey guys, here we are. We're gonna do the epoxy hang method. I mentioned this in one of my posts the other day and a lot of people showed interest in it and I actually went on YouTube to see if there was a video I could send people to to reference and watch and there wasn't one and I am not a video person yet. I've not gotten very good at this, but I thought, well, I'll make one real quick so that I can send it to you guys so you can see what we've got going. I'm just quickly mixing my epoxy. Um, just part A, part B together. And you need about two mLs for the whole cup. It doesn't take hardly any. You don't wanna over mix and get too much because then you'll get lots of drips. So the point of this is that you don't need a turner. You just have a drying rack or whatever you guys used um, to hold your cups and somewhere that it can stay for the, I would say 24 hours is generally how I uh, how long I leave my cups before I handle them again um, after epoxy. So here it's on my uh, rotating drying rack and it will stay here until tomorrow uh, when I do the next layer. So what you do is you have your epoxy, you just pour it right on the top of the glass, or I guess it would be the bottom of the glass. And it's about two mLs. Like I said, it's very little. You can see, you can't even see it in the video on the top because there's such a small amount. And then what you do is just work it around, get it to the edges and start bringing it off the edges. With a gloved finger, it will not work with anything else. You have to have a gloved finger because you, you've got to apply quite a bit of pressure. So you've got to hold it with one hand and press and pull with the other for the epoxy. The epoxy is gonna be very thin. Um, you're gonna work that two mLs all the way down the cup. As you can see, you just keep going, going, going. You can actually feel when you've got epoxy because it gets slippery. So in the places you've already got it, it's really easy to move it. It's when you hit those places right, right there where your finger kind of sticks, that means there's no epoxy there. So you just keep working it, pulling it from the top, working it all the way down, rotate around the cup. I've gotten very fast at this. I do a lot of these. This is usually how I do my final coat, um, just to make sure I get it nice and smooth and even. And you just keep working. You can use a little bit more if you want. Uh, I, I don't recommend it because it will um, drip and then you gotta sand the drips. So for your final coat of epoxy, definitely make it thin. If you're trying to get a little heavier, it won't go much heavier or thicker, but you can. Um, and then just deal with swiping the drips off the bottom. If it drips on the bottom of the cup down here, um, after about an hour, you'll start seeing drips. If you've used too much, you just take a popsicle stick and slide it along the bottom and pull those drips off. It's no big deal, but you might have to do a little sanding on the cup because the drips might leave streaks down the cup. That's why I use such a small amount, especially if it's my final coat, because I don't want to have to redo it and sand it. I just get just enough on it. And as you can see, I'm just working real hard. Lots of pressure with my finger from the inside of the cup and the outside and just keep working that epoxy all the way to the edge. Once you get it around, you'll feel it. It's slippery as heck when you uh, finally get that epoxy all the way down. Mine is just sitting on a plain PVC bar. That way it can move freely and spin around. Make sure it's nice and smooth on the top or technically bottom of the cup. And then work it around. That's done. It is that easy. Um, and then this cup just sits here now for, I leave, like I said, 24 hours. Again, if it uh, you get a little too much and, it's, and it starts dripping down, just take a popsicle stick and scoop it off the bottom and just let it sit. Don't try to mess with it anymore uh, because you'll get fingerprints and drips and dries. So just carefully work it down all the way. You can also hit this with a heat gun if you notice it has little micro bubbles or a torch. Um, it, usually for me, I don't have a problem, but some people do. So you can just hit it with a torch and it'll be good. So I hope that made sense for you guys. And I hope it makes everyone's life a little easier, especially for those who don't have a turner or who can't afford one. Uh, this is a good way to make cups without a turner. Um, this method does work for everything. I've done it over raw glitter. So I glitter epoxy method glitter my cup, and then I can do this hang method over the glitter. Uh, you just wanna make sure you have some good sealer over the top of the glitter, a couple different co clear coats, so the glitter doesn't slide off when you're pushing all the pressure. Um, but uh, this is it, and I do use the turner as well. Uh, I usually have my turners going all day long, but I've only got three, and I need to keep moving with my cups, so this is what I've kind of devised to be able to keep working. So I finish one and I can spin, start another one, spin, start another one, spin, and, and so forth, so on and so forth. 
Uh, I hope that helps you guys um, move forward in all your projects. Have a good day.